Now this really is a fascinating car. This is a 2017 on a 67 registration, Aston Martin Rapide S Shadow Edition. They're unusual because they're so rare and being a 2017 car, this is right near the end of production of the Rapide. So actually a really, really late version of this car. It's two owners from new, again, very unusual. 28,000 miles, again, very low mileage. It's finished in Aston Martin Special Order Ultra Marine Black. It's a really dark blue. Under these lights, you can probably see how metallic it is. Metallic it is, it is a stunning color. Inside, the leather, the shadow edition finish with all the honeycomb stitching, we'll show you that in a minute. Dark night blue leather, a really dark blue interior as well, a really eye-catching and sort of fascinating colour scheme. What an interesting car. We're going to run you through some of the amazing features. The Rapide S gets this much bigger front grille, which is different to the first generations where it has a split grille. So you get one very large mouth to the car here, which I think is very, very pretty big Aston Martin sort of this generation Aston Martin headlights which are these big sweeping front headlights with LED daytime running lights there and then park sensors at the front you do have rear park sensors as well beautifully integrated into the front bumper multi-spoke front and rear wheels they're a really good looking wheel on this and very reminiscent of sort of the DB9s of this era of car um, and then lovely fascia finishes, all diamond cut, and then on the inserts, a metallic sort of dark grey. Aston Martin badges in the inserts there, and then big black Aston Martin calipers on the front floating discs. Lovely Aston Martin details with all the chrome work, very, very Aston. All the chrome work running through the front wing and into the door there, and the indicator repeaters very nicely hidden inside that front chrome work. I'll open the door and this is when you get your first glimpse inside at that amazing dark night interior. The silver stitching contrasts throughout the car and the piano black wood veneers down the center of the car really break it apart. But typical Aston Martin luxury. Amazing design, something you only really get with Aston Martin. And then obviously the shadow edition badges on all the door entry plates of this vehicle. And if I shut that front door, privacy glass to the rear three quarters. So that's the rear doors and the rear glass at the back. And then again, a surprising part of this car is how practical it is and how much space those rear seats get. Amazing interiors, loads of controls, and you've got heated and ventilated rear seats. Coming around the back of the car, the chrome work continues all the way across the front and the top of the boot lid there, almost the rear belt line of the car, which is really lovely, and the clear rear lights. A satin black finish to the tailpipes and that diffuser section, leading me to the lovely park sensors, again, integrated into that lower diffuser section very, very nicely. The car has got a reverse camera as well, and the sort of hatchback style of the Rapid, again, gives it its practicality. And the boot is configurable in two ways. So at the minute we've got it in its open flats configuration, if you lift up this section, you can separate the boot. You still have a really large boot area, but then it gives those rear passengers a little bit of storage behind their heads on a long journey for them to put a backpack or something like that. So a really lovely feature, very well thought out from Aston Martin, in my opinion there. And I believe there is a pulley here somewhere. I, it is there, I've just not found it. Coming around the driver's side, I'll jump in. I'll run you through some of the features inside this amazing interior and we'll go through some of the driving controls and just some of that lovely Aston Martin build quality. So when you look at the door panel here, obviously the basics, four, four electric windows, a window lock, and obviously folding, if you press them together, folding electrically adjustable mirrors, automatic headlights, obviously very simple down here and you set them over to automatic. And then obviously in this car, if I can find and locate the key, which is under here, it does obviously have two keys and the original one being the glass emotion device, I believe is what Aston Martin called it. And then we'll move over to the center of the uh, driver's cockpit. So in here, you've got the multifunction steering wheel, cruise control settings on the right, all your volume and Bluetooth settings on the left-hand side. It's a beautiful Aston Martin wheel, very much of this generation of Aston. Big metal gear shift paddles, and that leads me very nicely to the fact that this car is fitted 
with the Touchtronic 3 gearbox. Now it is the last of its generation. It's an eight speed automatic gearbox and it is so much better than all the generations before it. Even earlier repeat S variants with the older style gearbox. So for me, this is the most refined, the best they ever got this car and it really is a pleasure to drive. Now I'll fire the car up. You can hear that big V8, V8, V12, I beg your pardon, V12 fire into life. And then if you have a look over here, we'll run through the, uh, the center console sections. So what you've got over here is all of Aston Martin's, sort of this generation, the end of what they did. So the latest versions for them. And the most important thing about this Rapid S is that right there, that is Apple CarPlay. And I know Aston Martin were plagued with rumors and, and slated by the press for poor sat nav systems, but this car solves all of that with the ability to plug your phone in and use Apple CarPlay. And that is it. Google Maps, everything, all resolved, and the car becomes super, super usable. If I put it in reverse, you get your reversing camera up, obviously with your guidelines that are all adjustable there. So again, making this car very, very nice to drive. All your center controls here, again, that will all adjust your Bluetooth phone settings, your radio, everything can be adjusted through these buttons here. Your climate control settings in the middle there, and then obviously your fan settings privacy lights, traction control, your suspension, your adaptive suspension buttons here to stiffen the suspension up if you wish to. And then down here, your controls for the seats. Heated, as I could say, heated and cooled. A really clever way of doing it with that little wheel there. And then you've got your memory function for driver's seat, lumbar adjustment, everything that you would want there. This car is also fitted with a garage door opener before I forget, which are these three buttons on the mirror. And again, that nicely leads me to the shadow edition part of the car. Look at the roof lining. That amazing, I'll try and sink into the seat so you can see, but look at the detailing of the Alcantara and the leather roof lining. It is just painstakingly brilliant. Look at it, the time that must have taken, and the same with these seats. Aston Martin crests embossed into the seats, and then the perforation, obviously, because they are ventilated to let the air come through. And then under here, storage as much as you'd like. Lots of little sections there, two USB slots and an AUX input as well under there. Now I'll just switch it off jump out and summarize, as I say, a really special car in my opinion. A 2017 Aston Martin Rapide S Shadow Edition. Unique, two owners, 27,800 miles or 28,000 miles, no, just under 28,000 miles if I'm looking through the glass correctly. So a very low mileage, very low owner, very late version of the Shadow Edition. And in my opinion, in one of the most striking color schemes that you can buy, full service history, the majority of its life with Aston Martin with one independent service, but really a fabulously looked after, beautiful example. My name is Matthew. Thank you very much for watching.